Hello everyone, welcome to part two of my outdoor kitchen build. If you didn't see part one, I'll put a link in the video to that. Anyway, so part two involved framing the cabinet doors and the other open spaces. I initially tried screwing it directly into the cement block, but that was really hard. It just wasn't drilling. So I used the, some, the um, construction adhesives, seeing as that wor worked really well before. So you can see the first cabinet door that I framed and installed, and there's a vent under there to vent the propane, even though the cabinet doors under the grill also have vents. The cement board was really a pain you had to score it and it's very crumbly there's lots of bits that end up falling you score it and then break it um, I had to install a 2x4 to the brick wall of the house to support the countertop the barbecue grill actually fits down into the countertop so I had to get the correct height for the supports for that drill There was one section that I was going to leave open shelving and then after I had done it I decided I, I didn't like that. It took me another 10 days to get another door in the mail to put the door for that section in. The cabinet doors on the wall side needed a space underneath because there's a drain and so I used gutter screen and cut that to fit underneath the door so that water could drain through that area. The last part of this section of the video, I was cutting the two by fours to raise the height of the walls enough to give me the right height for the countertop. I went with something unconventional. I was gonna put stone pavers as my countertop. As you'll see in the next video, I kind of changed my mind about all of that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.